my how to get into Harvard Medical School video blow out of proportion, so it only felt right to answer the most awaited question on the best pre-med degrees to choose and how to go about that whole process. So if you're a student who's looking to become um, a physician or a doctor in the US, the first step to do is see what pre-med degree would be best to satisfy those prerequisites required for a medical school in the United States. Now just to clarify things and give you a couple cliff notes, the US does require a four-year undergraduate degree which satisfies the prerequisites if you want to study medicine and pursue that field further. This undergraduate degree is known as a pre-med degree. And for all of my international students who are watching this video, unfortunately, the US only considers degrees that are completed in the United States. So if you complete this four-year undergraduate degree from somewhere else, if you complete an MBBS degree, they will probably not consider you. So the best path for you to take is to start from scratch with this pre-med degree. When you're considering a university for your pre-med degree, there are a ton of factors to consider. And one of the most important ones out of all of these is making sure that that university and that degree fulfills the prerequisites for med school. And apart from that, there are a couple other factors and let's go over them one by one. The first one is to understand what sort of a medical school ranking that university has has. Now I know this sounds a lot harder but the best way to do this is a simple Google search. A Google search will tell you how many students successfully went to med school after pursuing a pre-med degree from that university. Now the, after even getting those stats the more important question is to look at the students who decided not to pursue medicine. Now what was their reason behind it? Was it because the university failed to provide those prerequisites or did the students just simply change their minds? The second factor to consider are research opportunities. Now, irrespective of what field you're going into, having some research background and some ex research experience always goes a long way, especially if you're in the field of going into medicine, STEM-based research opportunities are a gold mine for you. It builds for a strong intellectual foundation and you know you should just get your hands on them. So see that that university has a ton of good labs, professors, and time taken out for research activities for the students. The third one is clinical preceptorships. Now for anyone who doesn't know what this means, it basically is shadowing someone whose profession you're trying to get into. So for a pre-med student, a clinical preceptorship would be spending some amount of hours following and shadowing doctors in the field that they're interested in. Now, this not only shows that you are a proactive student who is making an effort to learn the actual like physical job, but it also gives you like a, a vote of confidence in making sure that you understand this is what my future is going to look like. Do you, do you see yourself doing this as a job in your near five or 10 years? And I think this is a really important part. So if you guys can do clinical preceptorships, a lot of universities have this as part of their curriculum. But if not, you can always go out of your way, see if there are hospitals and, you know, clinical opportunities around that university. So you can even take an effort to kind of reach out uh, for this opportunity on your own. And the last factor is pre-med counselors. Now every university has career counselors and guidance counselors, but if you know that your end goal is to do medicine and become a doctor, check if that university has some sort of pre-med counselors. This will help you stay up to date and they'll be able to guide you, making sure that you're fulfilling all the prerequisites, you're staying up to date with the things and the deadlines that you need to in order to achieve your goals. So with all of the those factors out of the way, let's get down to the good stuff. Let's talk about some of the most popular pre-med degree options for you if you're looking to go into medicine. The first one is pretty obvious. Um, I feel it is the field of biological science. According to the Association of the American Medical Colleges, biological science was one of the more popular pre-med degree options with more than 50% of the students who took them in the last 10 years. Now this is pretty obvious because that whole field lets you take courses like molecular biology, human anatomy, physiology, public health, and so much more. But I feel that the only caveat with this whole degree is that many students may face like a burnout by the time they're done with the four-year program. So, you know, you want to be mindful that if you are taking this course, it doesn't mean that you need to stay away from it, but just make sure you take some courses that are outside just biology in general. It may be just like a hobby that you like 
to do, learn a new language or music or some sports or just like business, so stuff like that, just to keep things interesting and prevent that burnout from happening. The second option is social science. Now in this rat race of fulfilling all of the prerequisites for med school, a lot of students forget that this is a clinical experience and medicine is a lot about empathy and, and dealing with actual people. So the social science degree actually offers that where you learn empathy, you learn how to connect with people, how to understand their symptoms, which can go a long way when you're looking into becoming a doctor. These sociocultural factors contribute so much to healthcare and it can go a long way in giving you that different perspective you need to connect with your patients in the future. As you guys know, this video is mostly about the best pre-med degree option for you so that you can get into the dream med school of your choice, right? So at this point, I'd like to introduce you guys to today, today's video sponsor, a really cool group of people that I came across who founded an amazing company called MD Edits Consulting. These guys are like the real, real deal, okay? They help you from your primary to secondary applications all the way through your interview stages to get into the medical school of your dream. And the best part is this whole group is run by current medical students who have gotten accepted into one or multiple dream medical schools in the US and Canada. So the, so the advice that they're giving you comes from first-hand experience of something that they've done and gone through. So this is like really one-on-one -on -one tailored advice just for you. So I'm, I highly recommend you guys check them out. And the other cool thing is these guys have had a 100% acceptance success rate. So, you know, you can't really go wrong. Um, unlike bigger companies out there, they're a smaller group, so they're more focused on making sure that you get a success that you need and because all of you guys are the crazy medusa family you guys get a 10 percent off using the code saloni 10 on any of their services so check their website out in the link below as well as a personalized 15 minute free consultation so you know like you cannot go wrong there if you're interested in going down the medical school path you know at least take advantage of the free consult and sign up for that. Link's gonna be in the description below. The third one on our list is biomedical science, biomedical engineering, and biotechnology. I know that I bucketed all three of these together, but these three are, I feel like I'm a little biased towards this whole like point because I'm a BME engineer myself. But if you're a med school, the, out of like all of these three, the best pre-med degree for you would be a biomedical science degree because it focuses a lot more on like molecular and cell biology and the prerequisites for med school. But at the same time, biomedical engineering as well as biotechnology, even though they have like a more technology and med tech perspective, it may be a cool one to have. The only caveat is that with this degree, you may have to take some additional courses to satisfy those prerequisites that you need for med school. And with all of this, the flat line and like the biggest point to consider is whatever degree you take, your GPA matters the most. So make sure you study those courses in that degree. Now the last one that I wanna talk about is a lesser known pre-med degree just because it involves you kind of like knowing your area of specialization beforehand. So I'm gonna talk about neurology and psychology. Now this is more involved if you know you're going into uh, you know, neurology-based medicine fields or research, as well as behavioral medicine, pediatrics, stuff like that. But these degrees are really cool because they help you, you know, go down that path from an early stage and you'll get a jump start to kind of study those things beforehand as part of your undergraduate degree. So if you know you wanna specialize in these areas, this one is a good one to check out. The most awaited question after discussing all of these pre-med degrees is does the choice of your pre-med degree really matter when you want to get into a medical school in the US? Now I did a lot of digging and according to the Association of American Medical Colleges it actually doesn't. The two most important things that medical schools look for is your GPA for your pre-med degree and your MCAT score. Now this means that irrespective of what degree you actually did, they're looking at what success rate you came out of it as a student. So in a nutshell, what really matters is that you study something that interests you so that you can score well and get into the medical school of your dreams. And that's a wrap. That's pretty much all that I had in store for this video. 
definitely check out MD Edits Consulting. Take advantage of that free consultation. Like if I was a potential med student, I know that I would have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't seen uh, my previous how to get into Harvard Medical School. It's basically going over the entire process of how you can. And if you want to, definitely check that out as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you.